James Foley was passionate about his work as a freelance journalist in war-torn countries. In 2011, he was captured in Libya, but he was able to survive that. Then several years later, 2014, he became the first U.S. hostage to be killed by the Islamic State. Not long after his death, his mom, Diane Foley, created a foundation bearing his name to advocate on behalf of journalist safety and freedom of the press. Now in its fourth year, the Foley Freedom Run will happen this weekend in Rochester, New Hampshire. Foley took a break from setting up this morning to talk to me and she says even in death her son challenges her to protect journalists and our freedom even when he came home he was the oldest of our five he interviewed us how are you what's up but he had a, a very serious side that I don't think I really came to appreciate until after he was gone to be honest I just knew I loved him before you appear so strong having lost a son um, doing what he loved, how do you continue to stay strong and move forward? Oh, it's really my faith in God. I believe in a very loving and merciful God, and I believe Jim did too. Within a month after Jim was killed, um, we really felt the need to continue his work. Tell us about the Foley Foundation. He had died for freedom. He had died for the people suffering in Syria. So we felt strongly we needed to come together and advocate for other Americans all over the world. Hundreds of Americans are unjustly detained and or kidnapped. And because I had been so ignorant about, about these issues, I felt the need to tell Americans, help Americans realize that there's people quietly doing this work to keep us free and let us know what's happening and that often we don't even know about. You know, and then when something happens to them, when they're targeted or killed, no one even knows. I had no idea, no idea how dangerous it is. Um, at the time, we had three children serving in the military, and so I was very worried about them. But it turns out they were in a safer situation than our son Jim. Given the disappearance of a journalist in Saudi Arabia this month, and as the mother of, of someone, a journalist who has, as you said, gone through those experiences, what is your response? What is your reaction to what's happening? Well, we have to express our outrage. It, it is totally unacceptable. I mean, Jamal Gashoki was a very talented journalist who had the courage to tell, speak the truth about what is happening in his beloved country. And he knew it put his life at risk. He knew that. But he also cared more about his country and his people that he wanted them to know what was really happening. Whenever a journalist is, is targeted like this, it actually challenges me to want to do more. No matter how tiny a town you live in, there are newspapers, there are um, radio programs, and that inform you. If we stop reporting the truth, people won't know. And then freedom is at risk. We need to care about our freedom. And the 5K run this weekend is not just happening in Rochester, New Hampshire, but all over the world by way of a virtual run. And we have much more on this story, including more on the James W. Foley Legacy Foundation and more from my interview with Diane Foley at our website and mobile app.